Okay. Since we have understood why sorting is an important operation and why sorting, why we study sorting in data structures and algorithms so extensively, one of the first sorting algorithms that we will learn about is called the insertion sort. So in the next few videos, we will learn the internals of how insertion sort works and also why this is called insertion sort in the first place, right? We learn all of that. But before we go and learn insertion sort or any sorting algorithm, there is a concept that I want to introduce you. So there, is a, there are two interesting terms and concepts associated with it. So these concepts are called the concept of a key and a concept of a satellite data, right? So let me explain you what they are, what they mean in the real world, so that you have better appreciation of it when, when, when we actually use them inside sorting, right? So let's take an example so that life is simpler to understand, right? Imagine I have some data about products on Amazon, right? Suppose I have some data on some products at Amazon, right? So typically we store this data in tables, right? So again, there is a whole subject called databases. There is a whole subject at undergraduate computer science level called databases, where you learn about how these tables should be organized and all of that. Right now, we are not going to go to that level. Imagine this data is stored in such a way, right? Stored in such a way that I have the product ID, right? I have the product name and the product price, right? And maybe some product description, okay? Some description about the product. Let's assume these are the four columns of data I have. And in each row, I store information about one product. For example, I could have ID one, where the product name is N1, the price is P1, and there is some description D1, okay? So each row here, each row in this table represents some information about the product or information about one product. Each column here, these are called columns or these are also called as fields. Each of these represents one aspect of a product. So each row here represents one unique product, right? And each column here represents one aspect, maybe its name or its price or the product description itself, right? Similarly, I could have product ID2, whose name is N2, price is P2, description is D2, so on and so forth. Imagine if my data is stored like this, right? Suppose this is how, so this is like a table. This is a table in which I'm storing my data, okay? I'll come to the concept of satellite and key data in the context of these types of tables so that it's easier for you to understand. Now imagine if I want to sort, imagine if I want to sort my products, if I want to sort my products, if I want to sort all the products I have by let's say the price, okay? Makes a lot of sense. Suppose if I want to purchase something, maybe I want to purchase something that is cheaper. A Lot of people sort their products by price, right? So even though the, so right now, see there's a lot of data here. There is an ID number, there is a name, there is a price and there's a description but we want to sort this whole data by only one property or one column or one field or one aspect of the data called price, right? So the, the, the information or the data on which you want to sort the data, sort this whole thing, whole of this table is called the key, right? This is called the key. And rest of this data, rest of the data, which is not part of the key, this whole thing, which is not part of the key, is called the satellite data. So for example, in this case, if I have to draw it again, right, you will have P1 as the key, right? And because P1 is the price price of product one, this is the key, this is the key. And the rest of them are your satellite data. So the satellite data here would contain your ID, right? So let, let's write it down actually. So your satellite data would contain the ID one for this product with price P1 its name and its description. Similarly, you would have product P2, right? Which would have its own ID2, name two and description two and so on and so forth, right? You would again have a product with price P3, which has some satellite data, ID, name and description. So in this, in this, this is your key. This is your key and this is your satellite data. So in a nutshell, in a nutshell, your key represents that column or that field or that aspect 
on which you want to perform your sorting operation. That's called the key. The rest of all the data that you have is called the satellite data. That's the definition. Now let's see why this definition is important. Suppose, imagine, imagine, take this data itself, right? Take this data. When I sort, when I sort my products by price, suppose I want to sort my products in, in by price in ascending order, let's say. Let's say I want to sort everything by ascending order. Now, when I sort my products, right, my whole table will change. Look at it. My, so let's assume, let's assume this is my ID, right? This is my name, the product name, the product price, right? And the product description, okay? Now let's assume once I perform my sorting based on these prices in ascending order, it could so happen that product three might have the product three with its name three and description three, this could be the cheapest product, right? Now, one thing that you need to notice is, so, or, or let, let's let's fill this more information. Product one is the, with name one and price one and description one, right? Is the second cheapest product. Similarly, product five with name five, price five, description five, so on and so forth. Now, the key thing here is, now this is sorted. So this is sorted. This price column is sorted, right? That's what we wanted to start off with, right? But one thing you have to note is when we are sorting by this price column, the satellite data, the satellite data, right? The satellite data that is here along with you also moves along with your key. So it doesn't so happen that, see, in the initial table, we have one, N1, price one, description one, two, N2, price two, description two, three, N3, price three, description three, so on and so forth. Now, when I am when I realize that P3 is the smallest price, okay, is the smallest value in terms of price, when I moved my, when I moved this row to the top, when I moved this row to the first row, along with, even though, I know that P3 is the smallest price. Along with P3, I moved all of the satellite data also along with it. That's why it's called the satellite data. Because this is moving along with, the satellite data is moving along with the key, right? So imagine in my original data, let's assume, in my original data, if I organize this whole data into an array, right? So this is my product one, sorry, product one's price P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, right? Each of them has their own satellite data, one, N1, D1, this has its own satellite data, two, N2, uh, description two, this has its own satellite data, this has its own satellite data. Each of them have their own satellite data, right? This is, this is the original input data. This is, let's say, the input data. Now, let's assume I sort the whole thing. Let's assume I sort the whole thing. And my final sorted order is, as we have seen here, let's say P3, P1, P2, P3, P1, P5, P4, P2. So this is, let's say, my sorted order where the, all these values are in the ascending order. These are my prices. Now, when P1 moved from position 3 to position 1, its satellite data also moves with it. So the satellite data associated with this will be 3 and 3 and description 3. The satellite data associated with this will be 1, N1, and D1, right? So we are going to sort by the key. We are going to perform the sorting operation by the key. And satellite data, the satellite data moves along with the key, wherever the key moves. Okay, this could be in an array. This could be in a table, whatever it is. The word satellite here comes because if you notice, most satellites, right? You have, you have a planet like Earth and you have a satellite like Moon. And the satellite stays along with Earth wherever the Earth moves. That's why this word satellite comes, right? So satellites like a Moon or any man-made satellites move along with Earth. Wherever Earth goes, when you go around the Sun, when we go around the Sun, wherever Earth goes, the Moon and all the man-made satellites also go along with the Earth. So similarly here, Wherever the key goes, the satellite data also goes along with the key. Okay, this could be an array-based system or it could be a tabular system, right? So these two keys are, these two terms are important. So we all perform data using a key, but there could be satellite data. Okay, there would, in many real-world instances, 
there would be satellite data that would be associated with each of our key that would move along with our key as our keys get sorted in different orders. Right? So this is a very preliminary, very simple concept of what a key is, what a satellite data is. Now, in the next few videos, we'll understand the intuition behind how insertion sort works. And also we'll look at some code.